तो हे एवरी वन दिस इज मनीष एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द इन साइड सो सो टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस प्रितेश हु रिसेंटली क्रैक्ड आई एम कोजी कोडे एंड यू नो द स्पेशल पार्ट अबाउट हिम इज दैट ही हैज वर्क प्रीवियसली इन एन एच एफ टी सो टूडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज जर्नी एंड हाउ हाउ डिड ही वर्क इन एन एच एफ टी लाइक यू नो इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू वर्क इन एच एफ टी सो I think we should move on the introduction part of the Pratish. Uh, so I am Anish. Uh, myself, Pratish, everyone. Uh, I've completed my schooling from Technical Neuro Public School, Hogli, uh, a very small town in West Bengal. Post that, I uh, did West Bengal Joint and got admission into Jadavpur University in the Information Technology Department. Post that, uh, I got my job at Wiry Capital, where I worked for around one year, and after that I had some health issues and uh, some other priorities, so I had to take a sabbatical. Uh, post which I gave that, and finally I qualified for uh, I'm going to, and hopefully from the next month I will be joining uh, the official classes. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I would like to congratulate you for the getting selected in IIM. Yeah, thanks, Samanesh. Okay, so uh, like, uh, can we uh, move to your journey? Like, how was your journey till now? Yeah, so it has been amazing. Uh, I feel, but again, yeah, I I feel that uh, I'm very fortunate enough to have a very good uh, friend circle from the very beginning of my uh, life, starting from the school. Uh, I just had very very good friends and. Uh, they were always present you know to guide me in the correct way also at the same time i would like to thank my school teachers who were always like me uh, throughout this journey the opportunities that i've got in school uh, were just amazing uh, the kind of competitions that i've taken part in the kind of uh, question of responsibilities that i've had in my school whether it be the uh, being the class prefect from standard uh, 8 to standard 11 that is four years or uh, winning some of the ppt presentation in the school competitions or ideation in the school competitions it uh, has been just uh, a very rigorous journey at, at at the same time a very uh, at the same time a journey which is very joyful which i feel is for every other student in school and i have really made a lot of great memories uh, during my school life which has always helped me throughout my journey so, yeah okay uh, i got to know that uh, your father is a teacher so i would like to ask you like uh, uh, because uh, when we were students so it was very hard to coordinate us with uh, teachers so how was your bonding with your father so my so firstly my father is a top taxi teacher uh, for standard 11th and standard 12th he teaches in a government school so just like every other teacher my father is, uh, is also very strict and from the very beginning he made you understand that uh, if you have to do good uh, in life then surely we need to have a very good relation with uh, our teachers and at the same time with our cats so uh, so from the very beginning i tried i tried to follow uh, whatever he has said to me and coming from a very humble background i knew that this was the only opportunity for me to do well in life uh, that is whatever opportunities i am getting in school or and whatever opportunities that i might be getting in my college or after that in my good place i have to give my 100% in all of those and then only i feel i will be getting the you know right platform to achieve something so yeah my father was very important part of this entire journey till now okay and like uh, after your college you got placed at irage capital uh, which is an I- hft uh, so yeah. like uh, did you uh, find it difficult to crack uh, this company or was it easy yeah so when i was in college so first year i'm a 2022 pass out so when i was in my third year uh, uh, so towards the end of second year the lockdown happened 
and because of that initially there were very few companies that were coming to the campus for the internships so i was really very worried that how will i be getting an internship and ultimately the ppu there was very very few chances of me getting to good company but uh, ultimately the market again gained uh, its uh, momentum and uh, during the final placements uh, companies started to come <clears throat> So initially, I was placed in a company uh, called uh, Enchanto. So in Enchanto, I was uh, there for five months. So those were during my uh, fourth year. And after that, I really also came. I was fortunate. I am fortunate enough that I got the chance to set for the placements of IIT. So I sat there. Uh, the I won't say the interview was simple. There were uh, two rounds. So mainly the first round was. Uh, our coding round, and uh, post that we had uh, uh, one round based totally upon the technical skills, <clears throat> and the last round was technical plus HR. So there were total three rounds, not two rounds. So the first round uh, involved mainly upon two coding questions that they had framed. The questions were good. I was able to complete one and a half of them. Uh, also. Nidage came towards the end of our placements uh, season, so by then I was pretty much thorough with my data structures and algorithms, and I also had practiced the uh, GFC and Lead Code. So back in 2022, Lead Code had uh, Lead Code had just picked up uh, around um, the time uh, our placements happened. So yeah, so the first round was uh, okay. Uh, means I would rate it as medium to hard medium to difficult. Then came the first interview round in which I was again given two uh, two real life problems that might come in an HFT. And I have to find the solution and also write the pseudo. So the and again the person who took my interview, he was my like he turned out to my mentor when I joined IH. So again that was the first meeting with him. So yeah, it was a great interview experience with him, and he is one of the best uh, mentors and one of the best speakers, and one of the again one of the best listeners that I've ever met in my life. And uh, he is really inspiring, very inspiring person. So post that, I had my second interview, uh, which was taken by one of our very senior members of IH. It was more of an uh, HR plus uh, technical realm. So uh, along with that, I was also being asked some technical questions. So that was, uh, I would say, not so difficult. But again, HR questions are HR questions. We never know what's a perfect answer for it. So again, the preparation that we had done till that uh, day, like starting from our third years, so that has only helped us uh, gaining uh, our seat into our age. Yeah. Okay. You know, Pratish, uh, my audience would be glad to know about uh, like HFT and how does it work? What is it and how does it work? So, can you explain a bit about it? So, uh, in HFTs, uh, the trading mostly takes place based upon some algorithms that we uh, usually make using the tech stack of C++. Uh, so, our main logic is to reduce the latency to that extent in which we are able to track every minute changes that takes place in the stock market. And uh, whatever minute uh, changes or manipulations that take place in the stock market are being captured by our softwares, uh, and we are able to uh, make our orders again in very high frequency, and hence the term high frequency trading. With uh, by the help of our softwares, we are able to uh, work in nanoseconds, and uh, by tracking each and every moment, we are able to make uh, small profits. Uh, based upon uh, every order that we make in the market. Now, as the name suggests, high frequency. So the number of orders that we make per second uh, is very large. But the amount that we spend on for every order or the amount that we gain per order is actually less. But given the number of uh, given the number of orders that we make per second, we result in overall. And also, if we start making some kind of losses in the market, then the system is built in such a way that it will uh, eventually give us some kind of hint or notify us or give us a signal 
that uh, we might uh, step back in our positions in the market. So the entire ecosystem in our company or any other HFT is being built in such a way that it facilitates the trader to take decisions based upon uh, the entire market and uh, the 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 portal or the system that we have built at iRange. It uh, facilitates the same and uh, we always try to improve the system that we had and yeah, that was again the most important part of our work, to improve the system. Okay, uh, Pritesh, I have heard that like working in, a, in an HFT is like uh, quite hectic. So what about your company and how did you find it? <clears throat> like was it difficult to work with them or not? Yeah, so when I got it to IH, I was pretty much uh, sure. I also read uh, some logs on Quora and I also found some uh, answers on Lead uh, Committee that uh, working in an HFT will be a bit of hectic. So, yeah, it was pretty much the same. It was hectic, I would say. It was uh, like I have to try a lot of pressure between me and, you know, my entire team. But again, I would say that HFTs are the perfect uh, places for us, you know, that can teach us time management. And uh, the most important thing that we used to do was context switch. So, like, the trading usually started from, you know, 9.15 a.m. in the morning and it goes on to 3.30 p.m. in the evening. So, if there is an error at the very beginning, we were the ones, we the software developers, we were the ones who were in charge of, you know, looking after the, the error, how that error occurred, what are the <clears throat> what are the elements involved on that issue. And uh, at the same time, we also had to take quick decisions and uh, solve the issue, find, uh, find the bug and fix it. So this very short span of time gave us also a time barrier and at the same time also gave us a very strong sense of responsibility. Given a very small team, like around 45 members were there in our company, uh, out of which 20 were traders and around 25 were software engineers. So uh, we had a lot of responsibility. Like every engineer was given a lot of tasks. Uh, also, they were solely responsible for several tools. Every engineer was responsible for several tools. So, yeah getting the sole responsibility increases our uh, accountability towards our organization and also teaches us to be a bit more serious about our work. So yeah, every everything that I've learned at IDH has uh, surely helped me in my cat preparation as well and surely my entire life it will be helpful. Okay, uh, could you explain a bit about like uh, there might be many teams in your company so how they collaborate with each other? So on a broad uh, level, there were around uh, four teams. The first was the traders. Uh, the second was the Quants team. Uh, so the traders, their job was mostly the day trading part. So starting from 9.15, then three, ending at 3.30. And post that, some kind of research on whatever they did, the entire day was a part of their work. And uh, the other team was the Quants team, whose area was the research part. They used to test the algorithms that uh, has been developed based upon the past data, past uh, 10 years or, uh, you know, 10 to 11 or 10 to 12 years data. So they used to run the algorithms and they used to uh, monitor the profits or how the algorithm is uh, functioning based upon the market conditions. So this was the quants team. Followed by that, we had uh, uh, up umbrella team of software engineers where it was again divided into two teams. The first one was uh, the strategy development team where the team uh, worked on C++. And the second team was our team, systems engineering team, where we mostly worked on Python. We worked uh, mainly on the automation and uh, the regulation of all the errors that have been opening in our systems to rectify them, to do some kind of R&D and try to improve it also try to automate uh, this entire process and make the functionalities of our software very easy and uh, simple to understand by the traders 
which will ultimately help them to take the form procedure uh during that trading time so yeah these four things so my next question is uh, like as you have seen like uh, people are very attracted towards uh, hft because of their packages so what are you, your views on that look the packages are really good in an hft uh, the amount of uh, learning more than the packages the amount of learning that we get in an hft is uh, unparalleled and uh, for the people like me just graduating from uh, etech getting into an hft was uh, something i would say that i'm very fortunate for and uh, being fortunate uh, i tried to use uh, the opportunity that i got and the learning that a person working in an hft makes in a very short span of time is i think worth it also because uh, we are in the initial stages of our career we are ready to work a uh, lot uh, lot more hours also we are ready to you know give a few more hours uh, irrespective of of our official working hours uh, also working in an hft that to uh, an hft bed which is uh, they'd say not very old but somewhere in in its uh, you know uh, again not in its nascent uh, stage but somewhere uh, in its uh, majority uh, company like uh, ihs capital where the number of people that we are having is around 45 so this small number of people also gives us uh, an opportunity to interact very closely with the seniors and our fellow mates and work upon uh, different kinds of topics so in our company especially uh, our ceo uh, with whom i am uh, like because of which i am very inspired uh he used to sit uh, a few chairs uh, next to me and uh, our cto chief technology officer who also was you know his chair was very you know around two to three chairs next to me used to sit and again they were really very much uh, very much disciplined with their work they uh, they had very high standards of uh, you know accountability for their company and of the discipline that they showed because of that we were also very much motivated in whatever we used to do in the company we we thought that uh, uh, every every issue that we are getting every hour that we are spending in our company must be worth it for not only ourselves but also the company so when i went into irage truly speaking i just forgot about the package uh, definitely package was initially one of the driving factors for me getting to irage and that's why i gave, I gave the interview But once I got into Irish, things changed totally. It was a work. It was the people with whom I was working. People coming from uh, IITs, Bits Pilani, and our you know my college, Jadavpur University. Then from the IIMs, all the traders mostly here from IIMs. Also, our CEO he is from IIM Calcutta. So that again, that bonding, that feeling of uh, oneness comes. Uh, of like, uh, especially from you know like-minded people, if we are working together upon very good problem statements, uh, also at the same time we are very much free, you know, to take uh, any any other responsibility or make any such innovation in whatever systems are all all uh, already existing, gives us an edge over uh, working in any other form, which I also feel that if we work in a bigger form or the, a form with a very you know very structured hierarchy it becomes very difficult to take our own decisions but working in an hft like i did i feel that uh, uh, none of us were micromanaged and most of us were given the opportunity to work uh, as freely as possible and there was no hierarchy i was easily able to uh, reach uh, our cto or our ceo whenever i used to and uh, the task there uh, directly given by our ceo or cto uh, to us so again a sense of uh, a sense of uh, accomplishment also takes place at a very early age when you interact and get to work with such good people so yeah hfts are definitely a place where you will find such people and uh, definitely the money or the package matters but uh, the 
that it is the primary satisfaction uh, that we will be getting. The ultimate thing is the network, the PR and the work that will be helping us. Yeah. Okay. And on what tech stack you are working there? So uh, our team uh, mostly worked upon Python. And in some, at some instances, when the strategy developer uh, development team was busy with some other task, we were mostly involved, uh, you know, doing some C++ stuff. Apart from that, we also used to work on shell scripting. Uh, also because uh, before we came, most, uh, most of the things were, uh, all, like, they're already developed using shell, uh, shell scripting. So if we had to make any kind of change in those scripts, so we had to, you know, learn how those actually function. So we have to understand the entire architecture of IDF Capital because everything was built from scratch and that too on Linux. Uh, the development environment was Linux. So, you know, uh, we had to understand uh, the, the piece of code of, of uh, the shell script. Python being an easy language to learn, it uh, did not put much of a time. Also, my initial days in college, I spent uh, coding in C++. So I was more comfortable in C++. Uh, but since I uh, got the opportunity in Python, I also took it uh, equally. Uh, and uh, yeah, with time, we also learned a lot of new things in Python and uh, shell scripting and C++ also. And I must say that the algorithms that they have written in C++ is just uh, incomparable, I feel. They have really worked uh, a lot upon every function that they have written. They are very low latency code. And uh, people who are not very much uh, familiar with those codes will be having a very hard time in understanding that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's amazing uh, the way you are explaining the work culture there and how you work there in NHFT. Like, uh, so it's amazing. I mean, okay. So, like, my question uh, would be like, uh, what advice would you like to give any student like who want to join and accept it? Yeah, so I would uh, like to say that firstly, your profile, your profile matters a lot. Uh, HFTs look for spikes in your CV and uh, they mostly prefer people who have done some kind of uh, like uh, some kind of research, work, especially for quants. People who are interested to get into quants uh, must be having some kind of research uh, based upon uh, some, you know, based upon some topic related to finance and all. They will really be giving preference to you. Apart from that, uh, uh, the coding part is uh, if we are good in our, uh, you know, coding, especially competitive coding, then surely we'll be getting an edge. Uh, but again, this is really uh, beneficial for those uh, who, you know, uh, who are studying in colleges where HFTs uh, don't really come. So you, you guys have to apply offline and your CV can surely stand out if you are a very good coder. But if you are work, uh, if you are studying in a college where HFTs come, they are also, you should be giving, giving equally weightage to uh, your coding. But at the same time, also do some kind of research upon the stock markets uh, on the you know various terms that we have uh, which are very important such as the liquidity the uh, uh, FO the FO market uh, cash market uh, commodity derivatives market uh, MCX market just try to study about the different markets uh, understand more about how HFTs uh, function and the different departments in HFT not just quant, but also the software development department is just amazing. Uh, more than the package, uh, think about the learning opportunity that we will be having. Uh, nowadays, a lot of HFTs uh, are, have been opened in Delhi, Delhi area, and also in Burgaon area. Uh, recently, I got a message on LinkedIn about uh, one of such opportunities. One of the companies they have opened in Burgaon uh, recently. And likewise, a lot of companies are being uh, started by uh, some some ex uh, IAM or IITL I was an ex trader I, I remember one of our series uh, from uh, IDH Capital he left the company and started his own company own HFT firm so so surely he will be having a lot of opportunities just keep on researching 
and uh, be good with your coding part and uh, do some kind of research uh, projects or analysis upon some financial topics that will be helpful. Okay, Pritesh Vaiya. So it was amazing to talk with you about like your HFT journey and about your career. So uh, to my audience, like we will be uh, coming with an another podcast in which we will be covering the entire journey of Pritesh, like how he cracked IAM, Koji Gode, and like Cat. So that podcast will be covering uh, how he prepared and uh, and all. So uh, till then, like we'll be meeting in next podcast. So till then, uh, bye bye and enjoy. Okay. Thank you, everyone.